Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to manufacture a carbon prepreg helmet using the master mold we made in the previous tutorial. The process itself is simple, but the application is more intricate and therefore you will need to be careful and patient to avoid mistakes. Now, before we move on, let me give you a piece of advice. Think first. You need to consider how the helmet is going to be divided how many parts, the fiber orientation, etc. Remember that you are looking for a cosmetic finish. Make a plan first and your work is going to be much easier. And now, let's get started. First, we need to get the template from the master mold. To do that, we will use masking tape to cover the part of the helmet we are working with. Then, we outline the perimeter using a pen or a pencil and remove the tape carefully from the master. Once this is done, we place the masking tape over a paper and cut it. You can reuse all papers if you want. The paper will give it some sort of reinforcement that will help us to work with it later. Remember to check that the template is correct before proceeding with the rest of the parts and also to mark both the master and the template with numbers, so you know how they match later. Mark the fiber orientation and make sure they are coherent with each other. In this step, your design skills will be useful to disguise the mistakes or the small imperfections. Don't forget to mark both sides of the template, since we will use them for the two parts of the helmet. Place the templates over the carbon prepreg and cut them. For some of them, we decided to add a little margin that we will use for overlapping later, but this will depend on the piece you want to create. It's just a matter of playing around. Once this is done, we begin to position the carbon prepreg pieces over the surface of the mold. Remember that you will work from the outside to the inside. In other words, from the layers nearer the surface to the interior layers. This might seem complicated, but if you take a look at Pedro, you will understand that we are trying to say. We use two types of prepreg for this, FTC212 for the first layer, the cosmetic one, and the MTC275 for the second, the bulking one. For this project in particular, we also decided to cut some stripes of carbon epoxy to cover the gaps between the parts. And after that, repeat the process for the second half of the mold. Now, we begin the preparation for the backing process. First, we add the pin prickled bleeder to remove the air. It's important to wrinkle it before its application. Then. Add the breather and prepare the vacuum bag. Don't forget to prepare the vacuum ports to connect the bag to the pump. And when this step is finished, apply vacuum pressure. Then remove the consumables and place both halves together. Use sealant tape to ensure they won't move and add some small pieces of carbon prepreg to join both pieces. Now, for this second backing process, we will follow exactly the same steps we followed before, but using a solid bleeder instead of the pink pricked one.
then we put everything in the oven and let it cure. Finally, remove the consumables, the adhesive tape, and release the piece from the mold. Since the helmet was cured in the oven instead of in the autoclave, small imperfections can be helped, but we will fix them in the next part of this tutorial. And that's it, I hope you find it useful. Let us know in the comments below if you have done something similar using these techniques. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a like, subscribe and activate the notification button. I will see you in the next video.